So based on your research then of Web3 and of blockchain, is it your current position that a solution where you can query and index blockchain data is a necessary component for Web3 to fully realize its potential in the world? I think that it makes a lot of sense that a, a protocol like the graph will likely be a big part of, of Web3. And that's because so far it does seem that we're going to have a multi-chain future, multi-protocol future. And right now there there isn't a really, there aren't very good decentralized infrastructures. If we were to really build a decentralized Web3, there aren't that many infrastructures to address a lot of core challenges in terms of streamlining access to blockchain data. And so that could be like, how do we efficiently bring data from blockchains to apps? Another aspect, how do we easily get data from all these different blockchains that aren't talking to each other? And how do we do that in a decentralized way? And I think the graph is addressing all three of those challenges. So a graph or, or platforms like that that are addressing these challenges, I would say are probably going to be important in a future where we're building a really interconnected Web3 in terms of the different servers and so forth. I don't imagine, it's hard to imagine a Web3 where the protocols really stay siloed because that's almost like in huge contrast to what we're aiming for. In Web2, you can have siloed databases and so forth, but in Web3, we're, I think we're approaching a much more sort of singular idea that we can build a web that's almost one application in itself, a very modular web where data can be accessed across different protocols and there's a lot more cooperation between not even companies, you could say protocols and different crypto platforms. And then the basic sort of metaphor of the graph is sort of a web sitting atop and making these interconnections between a multi-chain Web3 seems like something almost inevitable.